Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to add clickable icons to your website. So the first thing I did, I created a really simple HTML file. I just put a header in it and I've also put it an unordered list there. I've set a list style to none because I didn't want the bullet points there. And I've just added a couple of items uh, where the icons will go. I've also added a footer. So let me just show you what it looks like on the website. Really simple. I've just added a green header because it will be, you know, a little bit easier on the eye. So the first uh, icon I'm going to look for is Twitter. Again, I'm going to use icons a.com. Search Twitter. You can choose it from different categories. On the left hand side, I'm looking for color. So this is what I'm going to choose. If you are going to choose uh, to use icons 8 for free, there are two limitations. You uh, can only use PNG up to 100 pixels and you have to always set a link to us. So this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to copy the link and put it on my footer. Please keep in mind that you need to set a link on every page where the icons are used. So uh, now there are two ways to do it. There's base64 or our CDN. I prefer our CDN, it's just a smaller code, I feel safer. I'm just gonna um, choose 48 pixels as my size and copy and paste the code in my first item. So the icon is here and I just need to link it. I'm just uh, going to anchor the link right above it. I've already got uh, the website open, so I'm just gonna copy uh, and paste the link from there. Please keep in mind, uh, you can always follow us on Twitter. We always post little tips and nice little articles there. So the next thing um, is I'm going to show you how to do an SVG file. SVG is only available for our paid users, um, but this is an option that a lot of web developers prefer. Again, if you're okay to use PNG, that's absolutely fine. Uh, so you're looking for Facebook. And then you change the format to SVG and then generate HTML again. There are three different ways uh, to add SVG file to your code. I'm going to use the first one because it's easier. And then all you have to do again is just copy the code and paste it in your HTML file. And there it is. And again, just to do the same and anchor the link to the Facebook page. I've got our Facebook page open as well. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it. So that's it. I uh, just need to save our file and let's just see what it looks like. So here it is. You've got the icons, you've got the link in the footer and let's just see if it works. There you go, it takes us straight to our Twitter account. So this is it guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you need any more tutorials, if you have any questions, just leave us a comment below and we'll be happy to help. And I'll see you next time.